With the introduction of the high-efficiency 1.28-gallon per-flush toilets, the demand for a high-performance fill valve has increased. New high-efficiency toilets use very little water from the tank to flush the contents of the bowl. A fill valve with a high refill rate is needed to refill the toilet bowl up to the proper level in the time it takes the tank to refill. Fluid Master's Performax fill valve is that valve. The ratio of water used to refill the toilet bowl to the water that refills the tank is known as the refill percentage. The refill percentage of the Performax fill valve is 47%. Its refill hose can be adjusted so that just the right amount of water is supplied to the bowl after every flush. Allowing for a powerful flush each time you use the toilet and all the while saving water and money. Additionally, the Performax fill valve's double flange design and built-in flow regulator make it one of the quietest valves on the market. In order to install the Performax fill valve, you'll need a wrench, sponge or towel, scissors, measuring tape, a cup or mug, and a bucket or pitcher large enough to hold a gallon of water. Turn off the water supply at the shutoff valve below the tank. Flush the toilet. Using a sponge, soak up the remaining water in the tank. Place a towel or receptacle on the floor beneath the fill valve to catch any residual water left in the lines. Remove the water supply connector nut and the lock nut by turning them counterclockwise. You may need a wrench to loosen the nuts. Lift the old fill valve out of the tank. Place the shank washer onto the threaded shank of the fill valve with the flat side up. Push the shank washer all the way up the threaded shank so that it's flush against the flange. Measure the height of the overflow pipe. Place the fill valve into the tank, but do not secure it with the lock nut. Locate the CL or critical level mark just below the refill hose nipple. Measure the height of the CL mark. The CL mark should be set one inch higher than the top of the overflow pipe. Ensure the retaining ring is locked in place. To adjust the height of the fill valve, hold the top of the fill valve steady with one hand and turn the shank of the fill valve with the other. Turn the shank clockwise to lower the valve height and counterclockwise to raise the valve height. Place the fill valve into the tank so that the refill nipple is pointing toward the overflow pipe. Hold the shank of the fill valve in place while tightening the lock nut in a clockwise direction. Hand tighten the lock nut only. Slide the refill clip onto the right side of the overflow pipe with the metal tab on the outside of the pipe. Connect one end of the refill tube to the nipple on the fill valve. Cut the refill tube to size and connect the end of the hose to the nipple on the clip. Squeeze and slide the hose clamps down to the ends of the hose. Make sure the hose is not kinked. You do not need to use this clip if your flush valve is already equipped with a hose retainer. The end of the hose must always be higher than the water line. Inserting the hose too far into the pipe will cause siphoning and water loss. Hand tighten the water supply connector to the fill valve. For ease of installation, consider using Fluid Master's Click Seal Toilet Connector. Simply hand tighten the connector nut until it clicks. The click lets you know it's sealed. Using the Click Seal Connector will ensure that you never over tighten the nut. Be sure to replace all toilet connectors every five years to prevent water damage. Now turn the water supply on and let the tank refill. Check for leaks at the connector nut and lock nut. If a leak occurs, tighten the nuts further until the leak stops. Set the water level one half inch below the top of the overflow pipe. Turn the adjustment rod at the side of the fill valve clockwise to raise the water level and counterclockwise to lower the water level. Save even more water and money by adjusting the water level in the bowl to the proper level. To determine the proper water level, Slowly pour a gallon of water into the bowl and wait 30 seconds for the water level in the bowl to settle. Mark the water level inside the bowl. A dry erase marker works well and is easy to wipe away. Flush the toilet. If the water level in the bowl reaches its mark before the tank finishes filling, reduce the amount of water being supplied to the bowl by adjusting the roller clamp. Push the roller down first, then forward to the next lowest setting. Flush the toilet and repeat the test until the water level in the bowl fills to the proper level just as the tank stops filling and the fill valve shuts off. If your fill valve continuously runs and does not turn off, you may need to flush debris out of the valve. To do this, you must remove the cap assembly. First, turn off the water shutoff valve. Flush the toilet. 
Next, hold the shaft of the fill valve below the float cup. Let the float cup rest on the top of one hand in the uppermost position, ensuring the arm is all the way up. Place your other hand on top of the valve with your thumb on the side of the arm that protrudes from the cap. Using the arm as leverage, twist the cap assembly in a counterclockwise direction one eighth turn. The cap will unlock and you can lift the cap assembly straight up. Inspect the fill valve seat for any large particles or debris and remove by hand or with tweezers. You are now ready to flush debris out of your supply line. Hold a cup or mug over the top of the uncapped fill valve as you turn the water supply shutoff valve back on. Let the water flow for 10 to 15 seconds. Now turn the water off. Repeat this procedure as needed. With the water supply turned off, place the cap assembly on the top of the fill valve with the adjustment rod next to the refill tube. Press the cap assembly down and twist clockwise 1 8 turn to lock it in place. Make sure the float cup is free to move up and down. Congratulations, you have successfully installed the Fluidmaster Performax fill valve. For more information about the Performax fill valve and other Fluidmaster products, visit our website.